Hi students, this is Kumar, your max teacher, grade 8. So the next fourth question is, find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. So the solution is, we know that, so the LCM is the smallest number. We know that LCM is the smallest number divisible by all its factors divisible by all its factors so the LCM of 4 9 and 10 so the LCM of 4 9 and 10 is so divisible by 2 2 to the 4 so 9 5 to the 10 so next divisible by 2 1 2 is 2 9 5 so divisible by 5 1 9 1 so 3 1 3 1 3 1 1 1 so therefore the LCM is 2 into 2 into 5 into 3 into 3 is equal to 180. So 180. So here 180 is not a perfect square. 180 is not a perfect square. So here 2 into 2 is a 1 pair. So 3 into 3 is a pair. So 5. So the prime factor 5 has no pair. So 180 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 3 into 3. So here 5 has no pair. So multiply by 5 into 180, we get pair. So 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 3 into 3. So 180 into 5 is equal to 900. So 900 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 3 into 3. So now 900 is a perfect square. 900 is a perfect square. So therefore the required square number is 900. Therefore the required square number is 900. So next fifth question is find the length of a diagonal of rectangle with the dimensions 20 meter by 15 meter. Find the length of the diagonal of the rectangle with the dimensions 20 meter by 50 meter. So length L is equal to 20 meter. So in a rectangle length AB. So AB is equal to 20 meter. So the length BC. So breadth BC is equal to 15 meter. So to find the length of the diagonal, so we know that in a diagonal surf a rectangle are equal. So the question is find the diagonal of a rectangle. So here uh, in a rectangle A, B, C, D. So A, B is 20 meter, then B, C is 15 meter. We have to find the diagonal A, C. So here in a right angle triangle. So in a right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, the Pythagoras theorem is square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to, we have to find the value of AC, the length of AC. So AC square is equal to 20 square. So AB value is 20. So 20 square plus BC value is 15. So 15 square. So AC square is equal to 20 square is a 400, 15 square is 225. So AC square is equal to 625. So we have to find the length of AC. So this AC square. So AC is equal to the square root of 625. So the square root of 625 is 25. So 25, 25, 625. Therefore the square root of 625 is equal to 25 meter. So therefore the length of AC is equal to 25 meter. So the length of the diagonal is 25 meter. So next sixth question is simplify the square root of 900 plus square root of 0 0.09 plus square root of 0 0.000009. So the solution is we know that the square root of PQ is equal to the square root of P into square root of Q. So the, here the first number is square root of 900. First we have to find this one. So after that we find these two values. So the first is the square root of 900. So we write square root of 9 into 100. So like square root of PQ is equal to square root of P into square root of Q. So this is square root of P. So this is square root of Q. So therefore the square root of 9 into 100 is equal to square root of 9 into square root of 100. So the square root of 9 is 3. So the square root of 100 is 10. So 3 into 10. So 3 tens are 30. So therefore the square root of 900 is equal to 
30. So the next number is 0. Point, square root of 0. 0.09. 0 0.09 contain two decimal places. So one of its equal factor will contain one decimal place. So the square root of 0. 0.09 is equal to square root of 0. 0.3 into 0. 0.3 is equal to therefore square root is 0. 0.3. 0. 0.3. So the next number is square root of 0. 0.00009 contains six decimal places. So one of its equal factors will contain three decimal places. Three decimal places. So the square root of 0. 0.00009 is equal to square root of 0. 0.003 into square root of 0. 0.003. So therefore the square root is 0. 0.03. So the question is square root of 900 plus square root of 0 0.09 plus the square root of 0 0.00009 is equal to 30 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03. So the answer is 30.303. 30.303 is the answer.